Let's paint a pattern of colorful feathers for Easter with watercolor. You could do this in a smaller size for making an Easter card, but I'm doing it on an A4 size watercolor paper. First off, removing some of the adhesive from the masking tape by taping it onto something else first and then onto paper to make sure we don't end up ripping the watercolor paper while removing the tape afterwards. I'm using my Winter and Newton watercolor set and a round brush. We'll use the wet on wet painting technique for the feathers. Paint the shape of the feather with just water, no color in the brush. I search for feather and Easter feather on Pexels and Pixabay for reference photos. And then drop in different colors into the feather and let them fill it. If the color isn't filling the whole feather, you maybe didn't use enough water, but you can continue painting the barbs with watercolor. They'll just look a bit sharper than letting the color spread on its own. If you have the opposite problem and the watercolor spreads out more than you intended, that's okay too. Think of it as an effect that's meant to be there. And we'll ink the outlines of the feathers later and fix it anyway. You can use multiple colors on the same feather. I did some with yellow and orange, or cold red and blue, cold and warm red, light and dark green, green and yellow. Let's just fill the page with different colors of feathers from different angles and different sizes and shapes. Some with a round top, some with a sharp top. Try to make the feathers next to each other different colors and face different directions. Then just let them dry. I peeled off the tape at this point because I decided to scan them before inking, just in case I end up preferring them like this as a delicate watercolor painting without any outlines. But now let's move on to inking. I'm using Micron Fine Liners, starting with the one with the smallest tip, 005, for very fine line work. These are waterproof, but since we are inking after painting, you don't need waterproof markers for this. You can use whatever you have. I'm outlining the shaft on the feather with dashed lines and tracing the vein of the feather, but it doesn't need to be exact. I'm tracing it loosely. This is the part where you can fix the outlines if the watercolor bled outside the feather earlier. I'll also do a few little lines inside the vein besides outlining it. I did try out thicker outlines for some of the shafts, but I didn't like it much. The thin and loose inking works for the delicate feathers, but I will say that this method will make the scanned painting a pain to edit afterwards if you want to digitize it for a pattern and maybe change the background color and so on. I did that and it took me much longer to cut out the white background than it took to actually paint this. But the result is cute. If you want to paint a pattern of Easter eggs, watch this video next. See you there. Happy Easter. <laughs> Die. I don't belong